Okay, so the timing of this is all too convenient. A couple of months ago, we ordered the new Aperture 600X. And if you ordered one, Aperture was giving away for free an Aperture MW Mini LED with every order. And then coincidentally, this week, Falcon Eyes slid into our DMs on Instagram. And if you ain't following us on Instagram, get on it. And they want to send us their all new Pocket Light F7 Mini. And then they arrived literally on the same day. That's suspicious. That's weird. So in this video, we're gonna put these two little guys head to head and see which one comes out on top. I think we've got ourselves a head to head battle. Let's go. What's going on my little cardigans? My name is Matt and welcome back to Viva Media. So let's get right into things. We are gonna break down this video comparison of these two mini lights into four main categories. Price, accessories, build quality, and features. So to start it off, pricing. The Aperture MW Mini LED light costs 180 Canadian rupees, whereas the Falcon Eyes Pocket Light F7 Mini costs a whole $100 cheaper at only 80 Canadian rupees. So both of these are super affordable at their given price targets and arguably for any budget. But for this comparison, I think it's really hard to beat a mini LED for less than $100. Point to the Pocket Light F7. And just to see how much bang for your buck you're getting, it's time to move right onto the next category, accessories. Now, for both lights, these are accessories that came with the light. They are not extras that you have to buy, they are included with the light. So starting off with the Aperture MW light, you open it up and it comes with the light itself, a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging it up. This is a USB-C chargeable light, a soft silicone diffusion cover for the light, a handful of plastic semi-transparent gels that you can insert into the light, and last but not least, a Velcro 3M attachment. And of course, that all comes bundled in a nice little soft slash semi hard shell case. In contrast to that, we have the Pocket Light F7 coming in a soft but rugged canvas style case. Zipping it open, we have the F7 Mini itself with a silicone diffusion cover. And in the front, we have, of course, another USB-A to USB-C charging cable, a wonderful addition of a hot shoe to three quarters mount adapter, and my favorite part, a little mini silicone grid. And so again, with that Falcon eyes coming in swinging at only $80, and yet you get so much more stuff with it versus the Aperture. So then you're probably wondering, why is the Aperture so much more dollars wise? Well, maybe our next comparison will shed some light on that. Lol. Build quality. Now, right off the bat, just by picking these things up and feeling the weight, there's no comparison. The Aperture Light is made much better. It's heavy, it's made of metal, there is no rattling or any loose buttons. It is also fully waterproof up to 10 meters, which is really, really awesome. Now, I wish that was the same story with the Falcon Eyes. The F7 Mini, no two ways around it, is entirely made of plastic. The housing, the buttons, even the LEDs are also covered by plastic. Now, do I think it's going to shatter if you dropped it or routinely used it? No, but again, if we're comparing metal to plastic, we obviously have to give build quality to Aperture on this one. And last but not least, that brings us to our final stage of comparison, features. This Aperture MW Mini unfortunately only has a daylight setting. There's no bicolor, no RGB, although to its credit, it does have Aperture's awesome lighting effects like TV, paparazzi, lightning, and more. But in terms of features, that's about it. Again, it's fully waterproof up to 10 meters and it's USB-C rechargeable with a claimed 80 minutes of a continuous run with the booster button on and 20 plus hours at its minimum brightness. Really good. But if we shift back over to the Falcon Eyes, this is where this guy really shines. The F7 Mini has full bicolor, full RGB control, full HSI control, a dozen different lighting effects, two things called L-Gel and R-Gel, which if I'm honest, I don't even know what those are, but it's got them. And to top it all off, it has magnets on the back of the body, which allow you to stick it to anything metal for endless lighting possibilities. I love this. And of course, this is USB-C rechargeable and can run for a hundred minutes at full power. And just for a quick brightness comparison, here is a few side-by-sides of both lights, both on daylight setting and both at 100%. Yep, they bright. 
So the question you're all wondering, which mini LED light reigns victorious? The Aperture Light has an amazing build quality, is definitely brighter and is waterproof, but filmmaking is all about having options and using these options to better create and tell your story, which is why we have to crown the Falcon Eyes as victorious. Sure, its build quality may not be that of Aperture, but with its dozens of lighting features, accessories, and the fact that it has magnets on the back, not to mention it's only $80, we think this thing is the perfect light for any filmmaker or creative to have in their camera bag. But don't worry, Aperture. We still love you. But what did you think of our comparison video? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Want to throw rocks at us? Let us know in the comments section down below. And as always, thank you for watching. My name is Matt. We are Viva Media. And we'll catch you in the next video. Baby, you light up my world like nobody else did. You don't know you're beautiful.